Today is November 8th, but early voting is underway, both in person and by mail. People have been casting ballots since the middle of October. We've had a steady flow of voters uh, since it began on October 12th. In Hamilton County this year, the number of registered Democrats voting early is about the same compared to the last presidential election. Among registered Republicans, it's up about 10 percent. In Butler County, we're seeing a much bigger change. Requests from registered Republicans are up almost 40 percent. Among Democrats, they're up more than 60 percent. But what it really comes down to is election day and at the Hamilton County Board they are gearing up for crunch time. We are on schedule. Um, everything is, is running well. Um, we'll be ready uh, come November 8th. Absentee ballots have been rolling in. Those won't be counted until Election Day. And in the meantime, the Board of Elections is working to make sure everything goes smoothly on the big day. It's really something that's pretty incredible to witness because it's Democrats and Republicans coming together, working with the goal of a fair and efficient elections. Politics gets put aside and it's all about running a fair election. And they're working very hard and very long hours these days to make that happen. Early voting continues up until Election Day. We have information on our website, WLWT.com, about the times and dates you need to know. From the Board of Elections, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5. Could be a lot of factors influencing the increased number of early ballot requests for some voters, but one big change that's happened this election cycle, Ohio's Secretary of State sent absentee voter request forms to every voter. In years past, it was up to each voter to fill out the form and make the request to vote by mail.